This week, um, I did some touch-up work. Um, I had painted the foot shells originally um, two weeks ago. Uh, the legs, uh, probably a month ago. The legs, my biggest issue was right up here. Um, which I showed and explained in the video about the legs, where I had got the paint too thick here, and because I painted with them standing up, the paint gravity had pulled it down in this direction, and it had pooled up a bit right here above this, uh, where this um, angle is. And really, it wasn't that noticeable, but it was enough to bug the heck out of me. So I decided to do just some touch-up. So I'm hoping, and it looks like it does show, what I did was I used 400 grit, sanded down all the runs. Um, there was some a little bit under here, but mostly on top here at the edge. Sanded that down with 400 grit until the runs were gone and then sprayed a couple more coats of the white just in this area. Now, of course, being spray paint, some of the spray um, went a little bit up the leg, so hopefully you can see from the reflections, there's just some little white, slightly brighter dots from the paint that went up a little bit that direction because I was just spraying here. Now I didn't want to do the entire circumference of the leg or the entire leg. Um, when I reprinted my battery boxes I did the whole battery boxes. Um, and then when I did the horseshoes I sanded the tops of the horseshoes completely um, flat and then redid the entire top of the horseshoes. But I decided for these parts, I'm going to try just doing the area that has the problem. Um, and one reason I did that is because it looks like I probably will, will do end up doing a clear coat. And before the clear coat, I think I'll be sanding everything really lightly with 400 grit um, wet sanding. And that should make... A little tiny you just see some little spots of the spray paint from that last coat in this area that should make those I hope um, disappear but now that I'm looking at it it almost looks like there's not quite enough white paint in this one little area see I'm starting to be I think getting a little bit too into making it perfect I, I didn't plan on this being perfect um, the people who make these things that can make well anything 3d printed be it uh, like a boba fett helmet or iron man helmet or an r2d2 just look completely perfect that's you know hats off to them because i've i've definitely discovered that i can't do that <laughs> it takes a level of printer calibration that i am not up to at this point and also uh, a level of finishing that is a little bit beyond me. But this right here, I mean, unless the light hits it just right and you're really close, you don't even see that. And if I, like I said, if I wet sand just really lightly the whole thing with 400 grit, it should be all uniform at that point. And then I can hit it with a clear and it should be absolutely fine. So on this side, I needed to repaint. On this side, all I did was sand it down. So if you look at this side, if I hold it like this, I didn't repaint, but you can see it's a little bit darker at the bottom area there. And that's because that's the 400 grit sandpaper. And that was dry, not wet. Um, I decided to do it dry so I could see better what I was doing and didn't want to go too far. And so that I was able to sand off just a little bit of run. And it turned out okay. This side had more of a run and I actually did end up sanding down to the primer a little bit on uh, one of the two edges here. I can't remember which one. 
So the other leg I didn't bother bringing out. The other leg um, was pretty much the same thing. That one had one side that needed to be um, sanded both down here and up here and then I just resprayed that area. So it was exactly the same. Um, I did put more tape around this blue area to make sure I didn't get any white overspray on it. And again, that blue area is because when you put the other pieces of the leg together, if you don't paint that blue or a black, it kind of stands out and draws your eyes to it being white when there's a silver uh, greeble that piece that goes all the way up and down the leg there. So keeping that a dark color helps make that just look less noticeable. Um, then we go on to the sh foot shell. I probably didn't need to bring both these out, but this one was really light on paint um, on this face. And so I just resprayed that face and really happy with how that turned out. That looks that looks good now. A little tiny piece of dust up there at the top, but so that one looks pretty good, although when I spun it around, just bringing the parts in here, I think right up here, oh no, here it is right here, it's a little bit light up here, I could have used a shot, more white there, but that's, I mean, that's, that's fine, being on the foot and the ankle goes in here and the cylinders and the battery box that's I'm not gonna redo that I think that's I think that's okay um, and then the other foot like I said this one I probably didn't need to bring out this one um, was where was it that corner no it wasn't that corner it was this corner this corner here, you can still see, possibly, uh, right here, there's a little bit left. There was a fairly big drip. It was along here and down there. It looks like I could have sanded a bit more out there to get that perfectly flat. So there's a little tiny bit, but again, I sanded that one down and the edge was a little bit of primer showing. So again, I sprayed just that area, a couple coats. So again, if I turn this to the light, you can probably see on this surface, there's some little overspray dots from the spray paint because I was just trying to paint this. I suppose if I had laid down a line of tape, that wouldn't be there, but then there'd be a line from where I had the tape and removed the tape, so. Again, I mean, you have to be really close and have the light on it to even notice that any that there's any little dots there. And again, if I'm going to clear the coat this stuff, I will probably sand with 400 grit, which is going to kill me if I do that and end up going through to the primer and then have to do more paint. But at this point, I'm pretty much resigned to the fact that I will not this summer be able to put him, um, put the body and the legs on the body and the ankles on the legs and the drive units and have all that stuff done which was my super duper stretch goal for this year that's not going to happen now that I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to clear coat I still don't know if I'm going to use the 2k clear that's the automotive clear that supposedly won't yellow or just go ahead and use the rust-oleum um, I think is 2x clear I think is what they might call that crystal clear 2x anyway haven't quite decided on that on the clear but um, from this far away I don't think you can even see what I've what I've done on those corners and if I was to weather it yeah, I guess you can see a little bit but if I was to weather it, you know, a little bit of weathering in that area, and that would completely hide that. So I think I'm, I'm being a little bit too critical. And I'd also like at this point to thank uh, the people who have posted in my prior video where I showed 
printing the body and was a little bit dejected about how it went and how bad the drips are. Um, looking at it now that it's in the house, um, trying to keep it a bit warmer now that the nights are getting colder. Looking at the drips, and they don't quite look as horrible as I thought they were, and after dealing with the drip here, I'm thinking that the drips on the body, I should be able to do the same thing. I should be able to sand those down and then just maybe give it another light coat over those areas if I sand too far. Um, since I do need to go over it again anyway because there are some areas that uh, didn't get enough paint that have some of the primer sh showing through on the on the body. So I, th I think it's going to be okay. It's just, yeah. I started to think, you know, first I was like, oh, you know, no problem. I'll be able to get that body all finished this year and that'll be great. And then I threw in the stretch goal of getting the legs done and the super stretch goal of getting it so it can just be standing there and just needs the greebles and the electronics. And I like the way I say just needs the greebles and electronics. Um, so it can at least stand where it's going to live and look like a droid and I can, you know, do their other parts at my leisure and then just put them on when they're done. So that, yeah, that would have been nice to get that done this year, but just don't see that happening. Um, even, even if I, um, had enough good weather to, again, I wait two weeks before I put paint over paint just because I want it to get as much curing time just to make sure it's stable as I can. Um, two weeks from now, if if I'm going to be able to paint clear, I don't know. So I'm, I'm not going to even concentrate on that. I'm going to concentrate more on getting the body fixed. Now that, like I said, I've got these to the point where I'm happy with the legs and the foot shells. Um, I will spend time on the body and what I really should be doing also is the ankles. I still haven't done anything past my first coat of filler, sanding, um, priming, sanding, and now I need to do a second coat of filler on the ankles. and. And I've got the center foot shell just sitting there in primer after one coat of filler. I didn't do any sanding on that one first, so the center foot shell has just got filler on it and then primer over the top of that after sanding. And I haven't sanded the primer yet, so there's a lot of work on the center foot still to go. So that's still the parts that I'll be focusing on. Oh, I've also, I guess I could have brought that out. I've got the dome printed, and now the dome itself, the the majority of it, the six pieces that make up the dome, the main part of the dome, are done glued together. I just haven't glued together the top framework that holds the um, panels, the pie-shaped panels, on the top of the dome. So I've got that entire thing to look forward to redoing since I decided that I wasn't happy enough with the dome I had printed in 2017 after the hours and hours of sanding and filler and everything else I did to that, which I do need to probably list that for free on the Michael Badley Facebook group. If anybody watches this who's in Washington State and <laughs> wants a free R2-D2 dome. I don't, I'm not going to ship it, but if somebody's in Washington State and wants to pick up a free dome, then I've got one that's not too bad. There's just a couple areas that I couldn't get quite round enough to my liking and just decided to print another one on the same printer that the rest of this has been printed on. So that's it for this video, just to show I did make some progress this week. There's less and less good weather for painting now that it's 
I think today is actually the last day of summer that I'm filming this. So I should still have some fall days that I can do some work. Um, but we'll see how much how much work I get done and how good the weather is after this and what I'm concentrating on. But a little bit more progress, a little bit at a time, and kind of letting, letting go of the... Uh, really wanting to have the body stand freestanding by the end of the year now that I realize that that's not going to happen and it's it's okay it's okay other than just the disappointment of not being able to have the droid actually standing up and having that sense of accomplishment that I've gotten to that stage is the the issue that I've got all these parts all over the house so that this is another reason why I wanted to have it standing up because all of these are the biggest parts of the droid, right? I've got the body and the legs and the foot shells and the ankles and those are all really big parts. And if I had been able to get those all done and assembled and ready, then that would have been that would have been major. So but that's okay. I shouldn't be in that big of a hurry. Just making sure it's it's nicer is going to be my focus rather than just doing anything I can possible to, to get more of it done. And then being upset afterwards when I look at it and think, oh, I, you know, just another week here or a week there on, you know, this or that part. And I would have been so much happier. So, yeah, just trying to balance out the I want to get this thing moving along balanced with the I want it to look as as good as it can when I'm done so that's probably it for this week um, I don't think I'm gonna have a chance to get much else done this week but uh, we'll see never know